Hello, Senior Girl Scouts. My name is Rebecca, and I am a program manager and the camp director of Camp Edison Boys with Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson. Thank you for joining me. And today, we'll be going through the steps to completing the Senior Collage Artist Badge. So let's get started. Some basic supplies you will need are tape, paper, markers, and glue. All collages are unique and not one is the same. For this step, we will be looking at collages from different time periods, and this step is definitely going to help us through the rest of the badge. While looking at these collages, keep in mind the different materials they used, the different colors, and the different themes behind them. For the first time period, I chose to look at the 1960s. While looking at this collage from the 1960s, I have noticed, as well as every other collage I have noted, I've looked at, they have used a lot of clip art, as well as they are very colorful and based upon individuality and independence. The next time period I chose to look at was the 1980s. With this collage from the 1980s, I noticed that there were a lot of movie and TV clippings used, as well as a lot of the other collages I've looked at. The colors are very faded in a lot of the collages as well, and the theme behind it seems to be strength. For the third time period, I have chosen to look at the 2000s. This collage from the 2000s, I have noticed that they've used a lot of celebrities and cartoon clips, and the color behind it is very bright colors, like very bright pink and blue and green and yellow. And the theme behind this collage is pretty much popularity and strength. You may also look at collages from different cultures and that are different styles. For step two of this badge, we will be focusing on composition and visualizing on how we want our collage to look. Our first task is gonna take about a week. Look around your house and collect some things throughout the week that you could potentially cut up and use in your first collage. So what I did is I made a composition collage of things that I have found around my house throughout the week that I have used and cut up. I used a wrapper from when I had Wendy's, guilty pleasure, sorry, a water bottle wrapper. I received a package, so I took a piece of the package and cut that up. And I also drink a lot of coffee, so I have pieces of my coffee on here as well. So pretty much for this step, we will be finding things throughout our week and cutting them up and creating a composition collage to show our family and friends uh, that defines our week. For step three of this badge, we are going to create with color and explore and express our feelings about color in collage. Our task for this step is to create a collage only using one color and the variations of shades in that color. So I have created a collage using the color red. I have a lot of glitter lying around my house and paint, so I have just done some weird designs with color with that. And I also have some very old leftover Tic Tacs from Valentine's Day, and I have taken those and put them in some weird pattern as well on here to create a collage only using one color. For step four of this badge, we will be using found objects to make a collage. Our task for this step is to create a collage with things that you use every single day. You can ask your family members to empty their pocket or grab things that you know that you use and your family use every single day. So the collage I made here has pennies because I am always in my wallet every single day. Uh, somebody in my house is always drinking seltzer. I always have a to-do list on me. Family members are always pulling candy out of their pockets. And I have a piece of floss on here to represent hygiene because we all use hygiene products every single day. For step five and the last step of this badge, we are creating a collage to share a message. Collages are a great way to share a powerful message. For our last collage, we are going to create a collage that is a self-portrait. This self-portrait collage does not need to be of your face and body. This self-portrait collage is pretty much about you and anything that is about you. So if you love snacks, you can make a collage of just snack wrappers. I have made a collage that represents myself. I love mermaids and the sea and the color blue. So I have made a collage with mermaids and glitter because I love glitter and seashells because I love the ocean. This has been all the steps on how to complete this senior collage artist badge.
You can also look at the badge outlines provided by GSUSA on more ideas on activities on how to complete this badge. Thanks for watching.